Maida, it's recess. You should be playing outside with all your friends. Hmm. Maida? Hmm. Maida? What's wrong? I... I can't do anything. Because I'm just a mitochondria. Just a mitochondria? Who said that? All those other cell boys, Robbie, Samson, they said she can't make anything. Everyone else is making stuff, and they have something to show for it too. Robbie makes protein, Samson makes lipids. They make such cool things, and I can't do any of that. I don't make anything. Maida, that's not true at all. Don't listen to those boys. You are such a special young lady. Here, let me show you how important you really are. But we have to go way back to about three billion years ago. Back then, a vast ocean covered the whole world, and from it, the beginning of life emerged. They were just tiny little cells floating about at first, and they desperately wanted to get bigger. They tried as hard as they could, but they needed more energy to grow, and they just couldn't make enough themselves. That was until one day, she, that little cell, wound up getting herself gobbled up by the bigger one. Oh no, is she okay? Oh, don't worry about her, Maida. In fact, she was quite happy with her predicament. She saw tons of food all around her, and using it, she did what she did best. She made energy. That young lady made so much energy that the cell that swallowed her was finally able to grow even bigger. The big cell would feed her all the food he got, and she would pump out tons of energy so they could both grow and change into anything they could imagine. Wait, she does what I do? I make energy? Yes, that's exactly it, Maida. She was a mitochondria just like you. And from that day on, she and the big cell were partners. They could go anywhere and do anything together. Most everything alive today owes its thanks to her. Hey, girl power! The first mitochondria the tiniest but mightiest maker. Remember, you have so much potential in you. You can do anything. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs>